morning, dear students. Welcome to the lesson. In this lesson, we learned from last year. I remember, it was the last year of the same. Yeah, it's great. Unit also. Order of operations. And the chapter number 1.6. Uh, let's first of all read the definition of order of operations. At this level of mathematics, you can you are expected to do more complicated calculations in one more than one operation, plus or addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Uh, the com complete operations in grouping symbols for C page uh, 15. Let me open the, 15, the page number 15. Okay. And next, more important, do division and multiplication. Next. To division and multiplication, next working from left to right, from left to right. Uh, as we write from left to right, like this, and also in operations from left to right. Do addition and subtraction last, and first division and multiplication or multiplication and division from uh, left to right. And the next one, next operation is addition and subtraction, working from left also in this operation to right so many people use them letters bodmas or bidmas remember the order of operations the letter stand for brackets is where's my pen here brackets maybe like this break lower or like this and of sometimes for indices is used instead of O for O, uh, for example, from here, uh, then instead of O, maybe we can use the I, Bidimus. Did you remember from last year? It's indices or powers, okay? And divide it and multiply. And at last, addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction. Divide it and multiply. What must Indice uh, indicates the indice powers are considered after brackets, but before all other other operations. Grouping symbols. The most common grouping symbols in mathematics are brackets. Here are some examples of the different kinds of brackets used in mathematics. So uh, don't forget uh, this word, podmas or bidmas. Okay, the first one is. You should do the brackets. You should open the brackets. It's not important. Uh, there's we have multiply or divide, divide it. Okay, so it doesn't matter. First of all, you should open the brackets. Let me do this example. In a bracket, in the first bracket, there is we have two brackets. In the first bracket, four plus nine and the times. In the second bracket, nine divided by two. Uh, maybe you can do it like this, for example. 9 times uh, 10 is 90, divided by 2 is 45, and plus 4 is 49. It's not correct, as you know. The first of all, we should open the bracket. Is 4 plus 9 is 13. And it's first bracket. Okay, and times, and the second bracket is uh, 10, divided by 2 is 5, exactly, is equal to. Then you can open the brackets and multiply. Uh, the numbers. So 13 times 5 piece is 65. Okay. And the second one is uh, 1, 2, 3. 3 times brackets. That's why. How can you do that? First of all, uh, open the uh, left side. 4 plus 9 is 13. 13. And then this brackets, let me open it as we have uh, times. And I want to write here, big brackets, two times four plus nine was 13 and minus four times three is 12 and minus 12 and close that break, a big bracket. So there's, we have times, let me open the bracket is 26 and a big bracket and a minus 12 minus 12. Okay. So. Uh, we can start with uh, left side, okay? This initial point, left side, and to right side. As you have the different is 14 and minus 12. 
is plus two. Okay. And when you have more than one set of brackets in a calculation, you work out in the innermost set first. Other symbols used to group operations are is five minus twelve fractions are uh, example five minus twelve and divided by three minus four, uh, eight. Sorry, five minus twelve is minus seven and minus five. And when you divide the minuses subtractions, you will get seven or five. Okay, if you look at it carefully, as we have both sides and numerator and denominator also has uh, have uh, the sign is minus that's why that cancel it the answer was seven or five uh, root signs such as square roots uh, and cube roots example uh, nine plus 16 is first of all let me do the uh, in, inside of the roots is 12 uh, 25 exactly is plus five because the root is uh, much bigger than zero and powers example five square or <coughs> sorry and four cube okay work the example here uh, simplify let me do uh, first of all brackets it was the brackets break uh, bit mass or bot mass that uh, that's why we should open first of all bracket three that is we have plus not divided by four is seven and seven times seven is 49 and here also we have two brackets let me first of all uh, open the separately the brackets nine uh, sorry ten minus four is six and times and a second bracket four plus nine is 13. okay so uh, six times three is 18 and six times 78. And next option C, four minus three is plus one, plus one times 20 is 20 and 45 minus 20 is plus 25, okay? And here also, first of all, uh, let me do the with the powers, okay? For uh, eight is eight square is, 64 64 plus 3 is 67 and he also uh, about fractions fractional numbers 4 plus 28 and 32 divided by is 8 and is equal to 4 and as you see the answer is a 4 also and uh, the roots square roots 36 divided by 4 means in square root uh, 9 exactly yes and plus and the second root uh, 100 minus 36 is 64 and what was the square root 9 is 3 plus and square root of uh, 64 was 8 and is equal to 11. there's uh, many types of examples about bitmas or bodmas so calculate, show the steps in your working. And first of all, don't forget the first of all, open the brackets. After that, you can multiply, divide by, or addition, subtraction you can use, okay? Don't forget, so, uh, four plus seven is 11 times three is 33. And I went too hard, but which one is more difficult than others? And this one, K. Uh, okay, also here, we should open the brackets. 33 divided by three is 11. And 121 divided by 11 is 11, exactly, because 11 squared is 121. And here, which one is, which one is, okay, here, G, 25 divided by 5 is 5, 5 plus 16 is 21, and blah, blah. You can use, uh, please uh, solve these problems, and you can send me on the page, and I'll give you plus or marks and marks. And the last lesson, some guys that sent me, uh, thanks for them. But the, more of the classes didn't send. That's why please uh, stop the video and send me the answers of the, these questions, okay? Please uh, improve your, yourself uh, in math. 
simplify and calculate also not difficult first of all uh, we should open the brackets and the second brackets after then the operation is div divided by uh, let me do this one 63 divided by 7 exact uh, is equal to is 90 and here also 6 squares 36 uh, 56 minus 36 is 20 times is 7 is 140 and third one simplify remember to work from the innermost grouping symbols to the other terms other most uh, and there is we have types of uh, brackets for example in this question in this example there's three uh, different brackets first of all let me open that with small brackets okay is 2 plus 3 uh, 30 is 32 and times 5 32 times 5 is 160 and then uh, also the second brackets also had done and at times and at times yes uh, and at times or not times and he also uh sorry uh, please look there carefully because of this bracket is included with here to here that's why first of all we should do uh, all bracket from here okay and uh, to here uh, it was 160 and plus six is 166 and times 10 is equal to 1660 answer okay don't forget this uh, and done the first of all the, the multiplication because of uh, the brackets is not included with uh, multiplication and uh, that's why the answer may be well uh, different and i i want to uh, from here okay uh, there's we have the same brackets first of all let me open these brackets 4 plus 20 is 24 plus 6 and i want to write here with a 100 minus a big bracket uh what was the 24 times 6 was uh 24 is 2 12 and 144 is correctly no sorry there's seven yes yeah, seven. Uh, 744 and you can close the big brackets and minus there's three plus zero is three and times four times four or minus four yes minus four and so as we have minus 12 minus 12 and the brackets not uh, close here but you can close uh, after 12 and 700 just a moment. It's not uh, okay. One hundred. One hundred forty-four minus twelve is one hundred twenty-two. One hundred twenty-two or thirty-two. Thirty-two. And minus 1000. The answer is 878. Okay. And there's maybe uh, some uh, little problem problems. Uh, okay. If you have some correct answer, you can send me also. No problem. And calculate the first question. Uh, there's the types of uh, roots or fractions, fractional numbers. And 60 over 20 zeros and 6 over 2 is 3. And also here, first of all, let me subtract. First of all, 81, the difference of 90 and 9 is 81. In square root, it means 9, not 8, 9. Uh, okay, and here, 8 plus 8 is 16. In square root of 16 is plus 4. Okay, and others, for example, here, First of all, let me do uh, with divide by because there is we haven't any breakers. 
That's why we should find the um, divide by or multiplication operation. And four divided by two is two, and 20 minus two is 18. Okay, is 18. And the others, uh, the example of fifths, insert brackets in the following calculations to make them true. Hmm, okay, there is we have the inverse of these operations. So there is we haven't any brackets, but we should put the bracket of uh, any places. So where can we put the brackets? And the answer will be correct. Uh, let me do the first thing with the first example. So three, plus, three times four is 12. 12 plus six is not 13. 30, but 80. That's why I want to put the brackets here. Four plus six is 10. And 10 times three is 30. So the bracket must be here. Okay. And the next one, uh, nine times two is 18. And 14 minus 18 is minus four. That's why the answer is not minus four. Uh, let me check the first 14 and minus nine. And the answer is uh, plus five plus five times two is 10 exactly. And also the bracket must be here. And which one is uh, more difficult than others? Okay. Oh, 36 divided by three is 12. 12 times three is 36. 36 minus three is not six but three and that's why let me um, try the other um, options uh, three times three is nine and uh, 36 divided by nine is four four minus one, uh, six is one not six hmm okay which way is uh, okay we can try and three minus three is zero uh, zero zero times three is zero 36 divided by zero is zero hmm is not also correct and where can we put the brackets from here 36 divided by three is 12 and 12 12 times three is 36 is not nine Okay, from here, the first of all, a uh, little brackets, and after that, big brackets. Three times three is nine, and nine minus three is six. Uh, 36 divided by six is six. Okay, and the first of all, here, we should put the brackets three times three, and after that, the big brackets uh, with the three and minus three, and the last one. 36 divided by 6 is 6. And others also, please check yourself, try it yourself, try it, and you can send me your answers on any page and I'll give you some marks. Okay, please send me uh, your answers. Video like your friends, some friends. Using your calculator as a, uh, a calculator with algebraic like uh, logic will apply the rules for order of operations automatically. So if you enter two plus three plus four, you calculate equal to the multiplication first and you transfer of 14, okay? And check that you calculate if you have, if you have a calculator, check this one. It's interesting. When you write that two plus three plus four, calculator is automatically uh, give your answer is 14 because the proof uh, answer is 14 exactly. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 is 14. When the calculator calculation contains brackets, you must enter these to make your uh, calculator does the proper section first. Use the calculator to find, first of all, 3 plus 2 times 9 is equal to, then the correct answer must uh, 21. 2 plus 9 is 18 plus 3 is 21. And here, first of all, the bracket, open the brackets, 3 plus 8 is 11 times 4 is 44. And also here, first of all, let me do with uh, multiplication. 3 times 4 is 24 minus 4 is 20. And the first bracket is 20 minus, let me open the second bracket. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 
uh, one is 11 and then swarm mask nine. Okay, and also there's we have types of examples. Uh, six square minus 11 means, I want to write here, 36 minus 11 is equal to 25. Or, uh, let me open that bracket, two times four is eight. Eight plus um, 17 is 25 times two. Uh, you can directly cancel by 25 and 25. There's we have one, also one. Uh, one over two times one is, one over two or 0 0.5. And a second more difficult example is uh, H. Let me open it with a small bracket. Three minus 12 is uh, minus nine, exactly minus nine. And here also we have division. First of all, let me do the division in a, with a left side. Uh, 12 divided by minus nine is minus two. Minus two plus 24 is plus 22 and plus 22 uh, minus 30 is minus 8, minus 8, and over, uh, first of all, indices or powers, 3 square is uh, minus 9, because of uh, the sign of 3 is uh, minus, and there is no, uh, there is not any breakouts, and 5 minus 8 is minus 3, minus 9 is minus 12, minus is cancelled, and then so we're eight over 12, you can cancel by two or four, sorry, and two over three is approximately 0 0.6. They're repeating decimals. And use the calculator to find the answer. And others, please, guys, for option E, F, and G, check yourself. Do these examples. Use the calculator to find the answers because of, as we have, uh, about decimal numbers that's why we should yeah, or we can use the calculator okay so there there is we have 0 0.345 over 1.34 plus two times uh, four times two seven and first of all here we should do this one and after that the addition and then after that you can divide these two numbers okay and also here first of all let me open the uh, root square roots four plus is 12.05 and this one is also we should multiply these two decimal numbers and after that you can divide by them and others also use your calculator to evaluate uh, 64 in square root times 125 and i know in 64 times in square root of 125 you can write the instead of uh, this one uh, you can write the the same places uh, because of their uh, their powers are the same square roots that's why is eight plus is what is it, 125 square hmm it's not and there's we haven't any square because of it's cube if you have cube you can find a five directly but here is not cube that's why you cannot use this way also and you can uh, use the second way Second way, okay, it's first way. And 64 times 125, let me do this one first of all. 64 times 125 is equal to 8,000. Hmm. In square root, 8,000 is equal to, what was the 8,000? You can write 8 times 1,000. Uh, 1, so 8 is 2 times in square root 2 times, and 100 is 10 times in square root 10. Is equal to so the coefficients are two times 10 is 20 times in square root two times 10 is 20. Hmm, we can open this one also 20 times uh, in square root is two times in square root five because of two square is four four times five is 20. So answer is 40 times in square root five. Okay. Uh, now let me check with. Calculator in square root 8,000. Yes, approximately, approximately. And because of that, we haven't seen any uh, answer is uh, about the small number. That's why the answer approximately is equal to, where is my pen? Okay. The in square root of five uh, is more than two and less than three. Uh, two point blah, blah, blah. And when you times with 40, the answer maybe, 
89 point blah 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 and others okay where's my eraser oh i lost my eraser. okay and there's we have also the small numbers squares or cubes okay first of all don't forget take a mm, square and cubes and after that subtract the mm, two numbers and after that and the last one you can uh, take a square root and option g first of all let me start with the small mm, how can i say brackets one over four in square root it means you can write this separately and one in square root one is one exactly is two so instead of one over four you can write one over two just okay and what was the answer so one plus one is two two over four plus one over two the same denominator we need two times two is one is two so four over four is equal to one in square root one so instead of these big roots you can write just one and outside we have the coefficient is one over four times one is equal to one over four or zero point twenty five and others also not difficult please check yourself and send me the answers in examination maybe uh, the questions uh, these questions will come here and rounding decimals rounding decimals and the last one is rounding decimals mm, rounding numbers in many calculations particularly with the decimals you will not need to find the exact answer instead you will ask it to give an answer to a state level of x-ray for example you may be asked to give an answer correct to decimal place or answer correct to three scientific features okay uh, also it was the last mm, okay i'm saying that our eighth grade mm, unit mm, let me remember let me review also these units and around uh, 64 uh, points blah 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 to the nearest whole number and here i have explanations what is the uh, units place uh, let me first of all we should whole number it's the small number and we need the whole number and whole number what does mean whole number after point uh, is the remainders or how can i say uh, the numbers if the eight is more than five or equal to five it's rounding to uh, other or next number for example 64 64 or uh, point 0.8 approximately is equal to 65 okay and to the nearest whole number so the next digit is eight the next after point uh the digit is eight so you will round to uh yet yeah, five to the nearest whole number and option b one decimal place what does it mean one decimal place it's also about after points okay 64.8 three nine nine zero six so we need one decimal place what was the one decimal place okay close this side and look the right side of the point and the eight after eight is three so three is less than five that's why it's not changing it is not changing just 64.8 which means one decimal place okay so the instead of three it was maybe five the answer was nine okay thank you and I'll, the last one c1 is the three decimal place okay one two three is the third number is nine after nine is nine that's why it's uh, more than five that's why nine is exactly uh, automatically changed to the next one is also 10 mm, also changed three three changed to four plus one is four that's why the answer is uh, 64.840 or 84 as you see here also uh, and then you read the explanation maybe you'll understand nine is that the third decimal place the next digit is ten sorry nine so you need to round up when you round uh, nine up you get ten so carry on the previous digits previous digits you also we have nine and write zero in the place of that nine so correct to three decimal place is sixty four point eighty four zero or eighty four just 
Okay, thank you for uh, attention. Please um, stop the videos and you can send me your answers uh, with examples and I will give you some marks. Goodbye.